How's it going, Pokemon fans? And for those who have been following me for quite some time now, know that back when Magirna was revealed about four months ago, I made a theory called Magiana's Dark Secret, since that was the name we got back then. In this theory, I said the following. Now, you might be wondering, how can humans bring a mechanical creature to life? We know that Infinity Energy has the power to bring back a Pokemon to life, such as AC's Floet. So why not give life to a mechanical body? Yes, so I blame Infinity Energy as the reason she was brought to life. And according to the official Pokemon website, well, looks like somebody nailed it. Magirna's real body is this spherical construction in his chest called the Soul Heart, created by a scientist who gathered the life energy from Pokemon. So today I'm expanding a little more on this theory. And how was this scientist able to create the Soul Heart with more primitive technology over 500 years ago? Well, in the Pokemon world. Uh, you know what I mean. Just, just cue the intro. By now, I'm sure all of you know what Infinity Energy is. I mean, I think I'm the theorist that doesn't shut up about it. But for good reason. It seems that Pokemon will use this form of energy to explain many mysteries in the Pokemon world. But in order to understand Magirna, we need to go back to the first account of Infinity Energy being used, which was back in the Kalos War over 3,000 years ago. Keep in mind that this is the oldest record we know of, but it doesn't necessarily mean it was the very first time ever, as there is no concrete evidence. The main reason I say this is because it is possible that someone before AZ already knew about Infinity Energy. And I know that sounds crazy, but just hear me out. Let's paint the scenario of AC's strategy in order to understand better. First, Major War takes place. Two, AC is the king during this time and he has a beloved Pokemon Floet. Three, Floet fights in the war and dies. Four, AC cannot bear the sorrow, searches for a way to revive Floet. Five, AC creates the ultimate weapon and brings back Floet. 6. AZ fires the ultimate weapon to the Pokemon world. The fourth point that I made is very critical. We're not born with knowledge. We gain it through experiences and our human desire to do and learn more. At this point, I see two possibilities. AZ used all of his resources to find a way to bring Floet back, such as his scholars, white men, and so on. Now, for those who are not aware, a butler in the Parfum Palace claims that there is an ancient tome on how to bring a Pokemon back to life. So, either 1. AZ created this book based on all the information he gathered, or 2. AZ found this book and used it to bring Floet back to life. Regardless of how it happened, the important point is that there is a record on how to bring a Pokemon back to life. Which of course brings me back to Magirna. At this point, there is very little information on why the scientist created Magirna. Was it a personal reason? Or was he just pushing his mechanical experience to the limit? My theory proposes that this scientist became aware of this book and somehow was able to obtain the necessary information on infinity energy to create the Soul Heart, a mechanical contraption fused with the life energy of Pokemon. There is something that bothers me though. It was made obvious that AC sacrificed many Pokemon to power up the ultimate weapon, meaning Pokemon die if you absorb the life energy. However, at this point we're not certain if Infinity Energy can be gathered without harming the Pokemon, and the ability so hard just obscure things even more, as Magirna will only increase her special attack if a Pokemon faints. Which leads me to believe that it is only at this point that she can gather more Infinity Energy. Another aspect of this theory could possibly explain how the Devon Corporation was able to make all the advances in technology by getting their hands on this particular book, which would serve as the basis on how to harness infinity energy. But at this point, all I can do is speculate. But as more and more information is added to the lore, we might finally get a definite answer. Who knows, maybe even Lily might be a key part of it. As the official Pokemon website states, she is not fond of making Pokemon fight in battles, but she loves reading and has devoured many books. But only time will tell. What do you guys think of this theory? Maybe there are some key points that support or debunk my thoughts. Make sure to let us know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time Pokemon fans.